guys, Kathleen here, and today I will be reviewing DC Collectibles Arrow Deathstroke. Oh. I didn't know about this guy until I saw it on Instagram. The guy that posted it up, his name on Instagram is Merc with the Mouth 07. But thanks to him, I saw this guy and just fell in love with it. I do love Deathstroke. I dressed up as Deathstroke at Oz Comic Con in 2014. This guy is just awesome. So this is the box that it comes in. Very uh, cool. It's not going to stay in the box for very long. At the back, it shows the other DC collectibles from the Arrow series. The ones that you can get, which is just Oliver Queen, Black Canary, Arrow, and Deathstroke. Obviously, that's the one I have. I'm pretty new to this. But I just have to show you guys because this is just awesome. So let's open it and show you how amazing this toy is. Here he is out of the box. Just looking fantastic. It feels great. Everything, like all the joints feel good. But when I first took it out of the box, um, it was very stiff and very tight. So I had a little play with it and I've slightly loosened up the joints a little bit more so they're a bit more um, flexible, I guess you can say. Just for comparison, here he is next to Voyager Ultra Magnus, Marvel Legends Spider-Man, and Marvel Select Deadpool. But overall, this is such a good figure. I'm really impressed with the detail on it. I like the orange and the blue. It just stands out really well, especially the blue. He comes with four, four weapons and I love them just as much as I love him. These are just so cute, I have to show you. The storage space on his armor for each and every single accessory it comes with, which is so freaking cool. First of all, we have his katana. Oh, samurai sword. This is just so cool. It's like a little mini version. The paint job on it, like they try to make it metallic so it's like metal. It's really good. They even try to do like the crisscross weaving on the handle. They really focus on detail with this one. And the actual blade part here, it's quite thin so they made it look very realistic. But in saying that, it makes this very, very fragile. So be careful not to put apply too much pressure in it. Samurai sword goes on his back. The way the, um, the pouch bends is the same way you should enter the katana. So it's got like a slight bend and that goes straight in there like that. Oh, so cool. <laughs> <It's> like, <whoosh. laughs> we'll move on to his next weapons. He has a machete. Um, once again, they've done well on the blade. They made it thin and made it look realistic. They provided like rubber, a gripping handle. That's what it looks like. His machete goes in his right left, right leg left. <laughs> it goes on his left leg, my left of course. You have to put this in the right way, like um, the samurai, otherwise it won't fit in right. But if you put it in the right way, it just slips in like really nicely. It also comes with a knife or a dagger, like a little one. Once again, sharp, very sharp actually, Al. His little dagger, knife, there's a little knife sheet above his waist and the back, above his butt, pretty much. And this also has to go in the right way. Sharp side up, guys. And that just slips in like that. Last but not least, his little handgun. I think it's a Desert Eagle. I'm not sure what kind of gun it is. I'm just guessing. I don't exactly know my guns, but I'm just gonna pretend I know. <laughs> There's a little like handle where you put your fingers through. It just looks good. His gun, it goes into his gun holster on his right leg, just like that. Oh, so cool. He just looks awesome, doesn't he? With all those like little weapons everywhere. This is just so cool. Obviously like the knives and stuff have pointy ends, so this is not kid safe at all. Sorry kids. Okay, I'll start from the top down to the toes of how amazing the detail is. As you can see, the mask, just looks freaking awesome. It just looks, you can actually see his eyeball. It actually looks like he's staring at me. Now at the back of this, the back of his head is cool because it's got, but like some string rubber parts. How cool is that? It's rubber. It's not like hard plastic. It's literally like you can move it around. If you take a look at his chest, 
just his chest is amazing look at all that detail you can see like the padding you can see like the clips and like just everything it just looks so real and the grenades and the straps and the pockets and everything it looks like someone has dressed up in this with other figures i've got everything seems to be just molded into the plastic as one as for this one it looks like they've molded the all the detailing all the padding separately it's not just one mold it so it looks like it's real i even love the texture on the pants it's looks very realistic, it's all crunched up, it's even got a butt that's all crunched up <laughs> um, everything is just, it just looks real, like it's not just like a smooth leg, it's just like it's got pants, like you know it's got pants take a look at his abdominal armor, as you can see there's real texture and depth like it was the real thing, like real material, you're using like a real vest all the harnesses for his tactical gear are all separate. Take a look at his belt and tactical gun pouch. The strap connected to the belt from the gun pouch is not attached to the gun pouch because this part, seriously, I thought was really smart. So it can have mobility around the waist, legs, so when you lift it up, you can see that it still looks attached, but it's it can move without stressing that rubber part. Seriously, I cannot emphasize it enough. The detailing on this is just, this is a must. You have to get this. The figure itself, it does have flaws. Those flaws are with the articulation. So it's like, good. I'm back. You assume that the head is on a ball joint, but there's so much padding probably inside of it, or there's just padding around the neck. Maybe the neck's too thick. Um, that lacking mobility. Um, you can assume that the shoulders are on a ball joint also because they can move freely like around and around. Um, in terms of lateral movement, it's restricted due to these guys, like the shoulder padding, so it can't lift up very much. You can't like do this. It's like like that. You have an elbow joint which bends 90 degrees and the wrist spins 360. There is no finger articulation. There's a torso mobility, once again, limited um, because of all the armor that he has on. The legs go back and forth. Again, very limited. You can go back the same angle. The legs do have lateral movement or side to side, um, but when you do that, you can see there's a massive gap in between his crotch there's a knee bend, the knee bends are on ratchets. And the foot goes up and down, no side to side movements, it's just up and down. One annoying flaw with this figure is its hands. The right hand fits the gun perfectly, while the left hand is too enclosed to properly grip the blade weapons. You can only fit the tip of the handle, I might just heat it up with the hairdryer to loosen it up or make it a little bigger. The articulation on this is not a deal breaker, you can still pose him in cool positions. Like I've said like a thousand times, the real seller is the detail, it's just smack bang, so awesome. Um, the details on this. Like seriously, like it's just awesome. Okay, that's it for my review guys. I Like I said, I cannot recommend this enough. It's just so damn awesome and everyone should buy it. Everyone, especially if you're an action figure collector or a big fan of Arrow. So that's it guys. Um, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, follow me on Instagram which will be down the link below or Facebook also down below or somewhere. I'll figure it out when I edit. <laughs> and yeah, till next time. See you later guys. Storage space. <laughs> This storage space, right leg, left. <laughs> my brain is like not working today. Pull up the. Can you hear the crickets? <laughs>